Hey everybody, I'm Vina and I'm here at the red carpet premiere of Zookeeper's Wife starring Jessica Chastain. This is a movie for all you history buffs out there. It's set in 1939 and it's about World War II and the Warsaw Zoo. So stay tuned for some amazing interviews. Well, there's so many themes in this film, and we've had so many films in the past that have focused on the male perspective of war, and, and from the male point of view, but it's very rare to, to, to explore what happens to women, children, and animals during war. That was interesting to me. Nikki also explores what does it mean to be in a cage. The Warsaw Ghetto is a cage. Um, and Antonina is a hero who uses compassion. You can be heroic and not use violence. Um, we need to celebrate also those heroes that use love. What was your biggest surprise, sorry, when you were doing the research of the film? Was something that you didn't know? Something that I, oh, my biggest surprise is I assumed Antonina working in a zoo would wear pants. <laughs> <laughs> and when I met with Teresa, her daughter at the Warsaw Zoo, she told me her whole life she never saw her mother in a pair of pants. And I thought, how do you do that in a zoo? And I really um, learned a lot about women in 1939 um, and how, um, especially in the relationship with the husband, that the husband's the head of the household, and how she continued to first him in the beginning of the film. But as usually in times of war, when the men in the past, when the men have gone off to fight, women then step forward. They join the workforce. They become the heads of the household. And then when their husbands come home after, they realize it's a new social dynamic. And in our film, it explores that. Um, when they meet at the end, they're equals, and their love is deeper for it. One more you question, asked, guys. Oh, oh, you asked Antonina's daughter. Uh, I'll get you after. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. No, it's okay. I'll get you okay. both. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, you asked Antonina's daughter what animal uh, yeah. she would describe her as, and she said a cat. So what animal do you think embodies your entire essence? Oh, my gosh. I, it would have to be a mix, because I love giraffes, because they're so kind of awkward, but really interesting. Um, and then it would have to be something cuddly, because I do love a good cuddle. I mean, a koala bear or something. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. I love it.